सदाशिव सचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सुखम नित्यम स्वप्रकाशम व्यापक नाम अधिष्ठान बुद्ध्यबोध्यम बुद्धिर्दृग्यु निर्मल अपारम सर्वेदेद्यम प्रत्यपर मह तदेवाह न मोन्दी मे निश्चिता मति विचार सागर फिफ्थ चैप्टर पेज 152 टॉपिक 259 द लास्ट पैराग्राफ शुद्ध ब्रह्मिष्ठाश्रितम ज्ञानम स्वाश्रय ब्रह्मणोती स्वाश्रय ब्रह्मणोती तदनतर जीव अहमस्मी अभिमानीप आश्रयो भवती अन प्रकार अज्ञान स्वाश्रय विषयक सिद्ध निश्चलदास आंसरिंग टू मध्यमाधिकारी known as adrishti who is not able to understand the nirgunam brahma as his or her own nature that student require the iswaras intervention srishti maya आर् अज्ञान मूला विद्या देर् इंटरवेंशन इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सम मोर टाइम फॉर मध्यमाधिकारी डायरेक्टली कमिंग टू निर्गुण ब्रह्म ज्ञान इज डिफिकल्ट दट इज ख्यातिवाद आर् बैनरी फॉर्मेट सम स्टूडेंट्स रिक्वायर triangular format for some more time in spite of listening to shastra that is why nischala dasa introducing this uh, srishti krama and ishvara once ishvara comes brahman is sagunam brahma maya's intervention is there that maya alone is called mula vidya आर् अज्ञान दिस् मूला विद्या आर् अज्ञान अलोन इज का माया दिस् अज्ञान ईज अनेक आर् एक इज द डिस्कशन सो अज्ञान नानाज्ञानवादी एक पूर्वपक्ष पूर्वपक्ष मीन वन टाइप ऑफ अद्वैती नाना अज्ञानवादी वाचस्पति मिश्र ग्रूप एक अज्ञानवादी इज विवरण मत सो निश्चलदास वोट फॉर् विवरण मत एक अज्ञानवाद एक अज्ञानवाद ईज करेक्ट आर् नाना अज्ञानवाद आर् अनेक अज्ञानवाद ईज करेक्ट न बोथ आर् करेक्ट फ्रम डिफरेंट ऐंगल different prakriyas nana agnyanam ar aneka agnyanam is from the standpoint of upadhi aupadhika drishtya therefore here that enclosed 
Enclosed Ajnana means Nana Ajnana, Aneka Ajnana. Each Jeeva has or having his or her own ignorance. Then it becomes plural. Ajnana means plural. Nana means plural. Ignorance in plurality is from different uh, Upadhi standpoints. For that he is consolidating here. Then we will go to the next topic after saying this much how that uh, Eka Nana uh, Ajnana Vada Eka Ajnana Vada this consolidation is given here Jiva Jagat Ishwara Adhyasa is uh, <coughs> introduced here that uh, um, they are called Anantam Jivas are many Jivas Agnanams are also many but what is the final no. he is knowing that uh, I am ignorant therefore every jiva knows I am ignorant I am ignorant I am ignorant of Brahman therefore plurality is there how it is said here look into the first line Shuddha Brahma Rupa Dhishtana Shritam Agnanam that ignorance which is uh, taking the support of Shuddha Brahman pure uh, Brahman Adhishtanam as an Adhishtanam Ashritam that is resorted to this Agnanam is supported by pure Brahman Swashrayam Brahmaiva Avrunoti it is a staying it means it is supported by Brahman at the same time it covers the Brahman it uh, Avrunoti means it covers as it were Brahmaiva Avrunoti remaining in Brahman taking support of Brahman that means Brahman alone lend existence to ignorance. Ignorance existing where? Brahmashrayam. It is existing supported by Brahman. Brahman. It is not of Brahman. Ignorance is not of Brahman. Ignorance is in Brahman. That is the meaning. Swashrayam means its own ashraya. That shelter where it is residing, that Brahma it covers. Tadanantaram, what it does? Covering and after that, Jeevaha, the individual, at individual level, this person says, Aham Agnyaha Asmi, I am ignorant. This I am ignorant is whose job? Agnyanam covers the Brahman. That is why all people attend the Vedanta class. I want to know Brahman. This statement, I am, I want to know Brahman means what? Indirectly saying that I do not know Brahman. No, I, I want to know Brahman. That is the idea. Iti evam ajnanasya abhimani rupa ashraya bhavati. Abhimana. That means I am ignorant, I don't know Brahman, I am ignorant of that Brahman, that Abhimana, that identity. Agnyanasya Abhimani Rupa, so great proudly says, no? I am ignorant, please enlighten me, I am ignorant, please enlighten me. This is called identification with ignorance. Abhimani Rupa Ashraya Bhavati, it remains in that jiva has to say i am first i am agnyaha he says later he has to become what agnyaha agnyaha to agnyaha i am the knower of brahman that shift has to take place <coughs> anina prakarina in this manner agnyanam swashraya vishayakam iti siddham so, Agnanasya Vishayaha Kaha Brahman. Agnanasya Ashrayaha Kaha Brahman. So, Agnanasya Vishayaha Brahman. Agnanasya Ashrayaha Jeevaha Iti Vachaspati Mishra Matam. Jeevaha. Agnanasya Ashrayaha Jeevaha Iti Vadati. So, up to here we saw in the 
last class next topic we will enter next page to 153 topic 260 that number has to be corrected it is given as 160 but it is 260 I will read the portion Eka Jnana Pakshe Bandha Moksha Vyavastha Eka Jnana Pakshasya Jayastvam Nama Bhedena Maya Swarupancha Now the following topic Nishchala Dasa is introducing. What is that uh, topic? He is answering to that uh, um, that Eka Nana Agnana Vadi for him he is answering Eka Eka Agnana Pakshe if you take Eka Agnanam Eka Agnana Pakshe Bandha Moksha Vyavastha Bandha and Moksha Vyavastha Eka Agnana Pakshasya Jayastvam so bandha and moksha both are possible every individual has got bondage every individual has got moksha possibility nama bhedena maya swarupancha he is going to discuss about all these are post shankara debates okay post to shankara later of shankara acharya so nishradasa differs from the vachaspati <coughs> How he differs that uh, topic is the given here. Eka Agnana Pakshe um, alone, one one jiva has got ignorance, um, and um, that ignorance is called bondage. That bondage can be removed. Vyavastha. <coughs> that Vyavastha of the, like uh, one darkness must be removed um, how that darkness uh, um, um, we'll go to the next topic later i will explain eka agnana pakshasya jayastva means superiority of eka agnanam it is a nama bhedena maya swarupancha it is because it is of the nature of maya Nama Bheda, it is only because of uh, Nama Bheda. Every Jiva has got his own Nama and Rupa. Because of that Nama Rupa Bheda, the Maya Swarupam, that is the topic I am going to talk about. Eka Agnana, one ignorance, superiority of one ignorance. Even though it is removed in one's own ignorance, in one one person depends upon his own uh, ignorance and it is removed he gets knowledge that is the the whole thing is going to be elaborated in this next uh, three paragraphs elaborately we will see what is maya and what is its nature how it conceals the person that is going to come that's agnana me Gnani nata da gnanam nivartyate Parantu yesmin antakarne gnanamudeti Tadrishantakarna avachinna chaitanya nishta gnana gnanam sha nishta agnanam shaha Tena gnani na nivartyate Saiva muktaha bhavati Yasmin antakarne gnanam no de team Tatra agnanam shaha bandhascha Tathaiva abatishthate Anina prakarina agnanasya ekatvam pakshe Bandha moksha vyavahara siddhi him. Now he says. Um, Brahmana ha, Shakti hi Maya. Maya is the Shakti of Brahman. 
even the prakriyas are different but main uh, central teaching is aham brahma asmi jagat mithya brahma satyam is the teaching everybody accepts but prakriyas they may differ so here um tachya antah karana sari tachya gnana ekameva so agnyanam one alone but it appears as many because of upadhi so nischala dasa says agnyanam has got aupadhika bedam chaitanya has got aupadhika bedha agnyanam also has got aupadhika bedha how na gnanena tad agnyanam nivartate by self knowledge tad agnyanam means that jeeva agnyanam that agnyanam which is in that jeeva particular jeeva will be removed parantu but yasmin antakarane gnanam udete in whose antakaranam the knowledge arise tadrish antakarana avachinn chaitanya nishtha agnyanamshah so in that antakaranam alone tadrish antakaranam in whose antakaranam ignorance is there in that antakaranam only in that mind alone there is avachinna chaitanyam enclosed consciousness like enclosed space in the pot enclosed space in the containers different containers body is also one container mind is one container which mind is in the body container so containers are many therefore agnyanam seems to be many because of that antakaran in that avachinna chaitanyam is there chaitanya nishtha agnyanamshah in that antakaranam where that chaitanyam is and avachinna chaitanyam means enclosed consciousness enclosed consciousness there ignorance is there in that jeeva tena gnanena nivartate by gnanam that ignorance will go away that gnanam in that mind that gnanam in that mind uh, will remove that agnanam of that mind <laughs> that means of that jeeva sayeva muktah bhavati that person alone can become liberated yasmin antakarane gnanam na udeti in whose antakarana gnanam will not rise non vedantic student suppose non vedantic person who is not attending class in his antakaranam there is no possibility of arrival of knowledge because there is no mahavakya vichara for him or for her how knowledge can come na udeti in whose antakaranam gnanam na udeti tatra in that antakaranam agnyanamshah there is agnana amsha aupadhika agnana aupadhika agnana means in that antakarana an upadhi aupadhika and means upadhi alone is called aupadhikam agnana amsha bandhascha tatha eva tishtha avatishthate that bondage will continue because ignorance has not removed for that person so therefore ignorance or samsara continues avatishthate anena prakarena by this way we understand agnyanasya ekatva pakshe bandha moksha vyavahara siddhi so agnyanam is um, ek um, agnyanasya ekatva pakshe it is um, one only but aupadhika drishtya it is many bandha moksha vyavahara siddhi bandha moksha is bandha can be removed moksha is possible these are all possible in without resorting to the uh, 
um, plurality of ignorance without resorting to the plurality of ignorance and this is possible it is only aupadhika bheda it is not really agnanam is not plural mala mula vidya is not uh, many but because of uh, different upadhis it appears as many then only this moksha bandha is the vyavahara that vyavahara will take place so that ignorance plurality uh, is uh, <coughs> uh, how is it possible and no very very important uh, paragraph is going to come now nishchala dasa again he is introducing the words of vachaspati yadi vachaspati mishra matanusarena केशांचित नानाज्ञानपक्षे मनसी प्रविशति तदा सोपी पक्षः अद्वैतज्ञानोपायः एव न तन्मतखण्डने आग्रहः कार्यः य यथा यया प्रक्रिया जिज्ञासोः अद्वैतवन् बोधो भवति तस्याम् प्रक्रियायाम् तस्य बुद्धिः स्थिरीकर्तव्यम् नो निश्चलदासा सेस आई एम नॉट टोटली अगेनेस्ट टू वाचस्पति मिश्रा मतम् यदि वाचस्पति मिश्रा मत अनुसारेना अकॉर्डिंग टू वाचस्पति मिश्रास कंटेंशन ओपिनियन केशांचित यानी वन वन टू अप्लाई दैट प्रक्रिया नाना अज्ञान पक्षे मेनी इग्नोरेंसेस आर देर सपोज वी एक्सेप्ट दैट मनसी प्रविशेति तदा इट इज अपीलिंग टू द माइंड मनसी प्रविशेति मींस पर यानी वन वाचस्पति मिश्रास मतम इज अपीलिंग what is that matam nana agnana paksha plurality of ignorance is real for him but for us it is only seeming manasi pravishati suppose he likes or she likes that prakriya tada saha api that ignorance plurality is also ideal only Saha api pakshaha, that plurality of ignorance is also Advaita jnana upayaha eva, it will also generate Advaita jnana, nothing wrong in that, but Na tan matha khandane agrahaha karya, we are not very much vehement in negating vachaspati mishra matam, just we have presented vachaspati is Vachaspati Mishra Matam. I am not going to negate him totally. If anybody wants to follow that opinion, he can take. Agrahaha na kariyaha Vachaspati Mata Khandani Agrahaha na kariyaha. People should not be angry with me if I negate him. Negate in the sense, if you want to follow, you can follow. By which Vachaspati Mishra Prakriya Yaha, by which Prakriya Jignasu Ho, Pray Jignasu Mumukshu, Advaita Bodhaha Bhavati, Advaita Jnanam is possible. It does not mean that he will not get Advaita Jnanam. It is only a Prakriya Bheda. Tasyam Prakriya Yam, in that Prakriya, Tasya buddhi hi stiri kartavya. If you want to be in that nana, one means nana ajnana vada, you can make your mind firm in that. Stiri karut kartavya. May you make your mind firm in that. You can follow that, hold on to that. It is welcome. To you, you can follow. Doesn't matter. That is why he says um, in um, 
Brihadaranyaka. In footnote, there is one sloka you can see down below. Uh, that is from Brihadaranyaka Vartikam. Uh, Brihadaranyaka Vartikam 1402 verse number. So Anandagiri also wrote commentary on Brihadaranyaka Bhashyam. And uh, this shloka is uh, from that Brihadaranyaka Vartikam. I will read that. What is said there? Uh, yaya, yaya, bhavet pumsam. Vipatti uh, Pratyagatmani Sa Saiva Prakriya Prakriya Hasyat Sadhvi Sacha Anavasthita. What it means you know, in that uh, Sureshwara Acharya, sorry, uh, Bhashyam. That commentary on Brihadaranyaka of Shankara Bhashyam. Uh, it is uh, said, Yaya, 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 Bhavit Pumsam, Yutpati, he means Gnanam. By which method one can get Gnanam, Pratyagatmani, in one's own nature, Pratyagatmani is Vishay Saptami. So, in which prakriya one's mind is very much comfortable sa eva saha um, prakriya ya iha syat. that prakriya alone one can follow that is good also <laughs> hmm? prakriya iha iha jnana yoga in the case of jnana yoga which is fit for one's own mind that is right sadhvi means right it is to be taken for me it is right suppose you feel sadhvi sacha anavasthita the no prakriya is final actually speaking no prakriya is final so you can use new prakriyas also that is why pratibimbavada avachedavada what does uh, uh, it matter? No, doesn't matter. The reflecting, reflected consciousness or enclosed consciousness. Both are one and the same, but prakriya is different. Which prakriya you use, you get advaita jnana final. That is the important thing here. You need not worry about prakriyas. So, now, so consolation for those who want to follow Achaspati Mishramatam, they can follow. That is the idea in this paragraph. Next paragraph I will read. Now significance of ignorance uh, or Maya is going to be explained. This uh, paragraph we saw already in different format. Now the same idea. Acharya Nishaladasa is presenting. What is the name of Maya? Different uh, angles we present. So you cannot say it is um, uh, different from Brahman. You cannot say identical with Brahman. So this is very interesting paragraph about Maya. Shuddha Brahma Shritam Mayam Avidya iti agnana miti chahu hu Achintyananta shakti matwa Yukti yukti nam avishayatwa che Mai tivya padesha ham Vidya nashatwa Avidya iti varniate Swarupa Swarupa avarakatva agnana mitiche bhanyate mayaya ashraya bhutam chaitanyam samanya chaitanyam na tan mayaya tan mayaya virodhi kintu sadhakam mayaya satta pradam spurana pradancham 
ವೃತ್ಯಾರೂಢಂ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಅಥವಾ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಸಹಿತ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಮಾಯಾಯ ವಿರೋಧಿತಯ ಜಾನೀಯಾತ್ ಅತ್ರ ಸೂರ್ಯಕಾಂತ ಶಿಲಾರೂಢ ಸೂರ್ಯಪ್ರಭಾ ದೃಷ್ಟಾಂತತ್ವೇನ ಅವಗಂತವ್ಯ ಇತ್ಥಂ ಏಕ ಅನಾದಿ ಸಾಂತ ಸದಸದ್ವಿಲಕ್ಷಣ ಅನಿರ್ವಚನೀಯ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಾದಿ ಶಬ್ದವ್ಯ ಪದೇಶ್ಯ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಚೈತನ್ಯಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ವೃತ್ಯಾರೂಢ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ವಿನ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ವಿನಾಶ್ಯ ಚ ಮಾಯಾ ವರ್ಣಿತ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮಾಯಾ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಹೌ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಶುದ್ಧ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ಮಾಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಹುಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆಶ್ರಿತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಶುದ್ಧ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಲೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮಾಯಾ ಮಾಯಾ ಬಾರೋಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇತಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ನೇಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ maya is known as avidya number 1 agnyanam iti cha ahoho agnyanam avidya means agnyanam avidya it, it, it came from the root vid dhatu <coughs> vid to know vid to exist two conjugations are there vidyate to exist with to know uh, the second uh, conjugation parasmai pada to know meaning conjugation is second conjugation parasmai pada if you say to exist with to exist in a fourth conjugation atmanai pada so avidya iti agnyanam iti cha ahu it is known as avidya also agnyanam also and what is its nature achintya unimaginable chintya means imaginable maya is that which you cannot imagine about that unimaginable uh, achintya shakti hi means power infinite power achintya shakti hi at shakti hi matva yukti yukti nam avishayatvad cha through yukti through logic you cannot uh, decipher it avishayatvad cha yukti nam through logic or logically you cannot explain logically inexplicable <coughs> logically inexplicable so achintya ananta shakti ananta means infinite achintya means unimaginable infinite shakti means power just like uh, speaking power the speaker has got speaking power the power of that speaker he cannot uh, see it it cannot exist separate from the person my speaking power swami ji used to give an example <laughs> jocularly swami says one lecturer thought uh, why to go to school college every day let me send a recorded <coughs> speech there so he recorded his speech and kept in the classroom uh, without uh, going to the classroom he recorded his speech and he kept in the classroom so the students um, one day they heard that uh, uh, no lecturer is there only record through record the speech is coming 
speaker is not there the lecturer speaker is not there but through recording they are listening uh, next day lecture came to the class students are not there what are all they are all recording uh, tape recorders are there why they kept tape recorders anyhow lecturer is not going to come so he is going to keep only a tape recorder let us record why we have to come to the class so lecturer thought he is smart students are smarter than lecturer so you cannot send your speaking power separately from the speaker you have to sit straight away and you have to talk okay like that <coughs> shakti hi so you cannot uh, say it is uh, identical or different with brahman identical with brahman you cannot say it is different from brahman also you cannot say that is why yukti naam avishayatvach you cannot explain in viveka chudamani also we saw mm, ಸನ್ನಾಪ್ಯ ಸನ್ನಾಪ್ಯುಭಯಾತ್ಮಿಕಾನೋ ಭಿನ್ನಾಪ್ಯ ಭಿನ್ನಾಪ್ಯುಭಯಾತ್ಮಿಕಾನೋ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸತ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಎ ನಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಸತ್ ಅಸತ್ ಸನ್ ಅಸನ್ ಸನ್ನಾಪ್ಯ ಸನ್ನ ಉಭಯಾತ್ಮಿಕಾನ ಸದಸದ್ ಸದಸದ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಸೇ it is neither existent nor non existent it is different from both ubhayatmikano bhinnapya bhinnapya bhayatmikano it is different from brahman also you cannot say it is identical with brahman also you cannot say sangapya nangapya bhayatmikano it has got limbs also you cannot say it doesn't have limbs also you cannot say ಮಹಾದ್ಭುತ ಅನಿರ್ವಚನೀಯ ರೂಪ ಮಾಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಅನಿರ್ವಚನೀಯ ರೂಪಂ ಇನ್ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಕಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅದ್ಭುತ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ವಂಡರ್ ಯುಕ್ತಿ ನಾಮ ಅವಿಷಯತ್ವಾಚ ಮಾಯಾ ಇತಿ ವ್ಯಪದೇಶ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಯಾ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಚಿಂತ್ಯ maya is uh, avidya iti agnanam iti cha ah mula vidya is called as agnanam ignorance number 1 number 2 it is called mula vidya is called maya because it is unimaginable infinite powerful it is a power and it is not logically explainable ವ್ಯಪದೇಶ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಹೂ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಈಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಈಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ನೇಮ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾನಾಶ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇತಿ ವರ್ಣ್ಯತೆ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾನಾಶ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ negatable through vidya by knowledge vidyaya vidyayaah virodhi avidya vidyayaah virodhi avidya avidya can be refutable negatable by vidya that is why it is called avidya vidyanashyatvat avidya iti varnyate this mula vidya is refutable or negatable or destructible through vidya therefore it is called avidya vidyayah virodhi avidya <coughs> ar vastutah na vidyate iti avidya vastutah ನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಇತಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಜುಗೇಷನ್ ಲ ವೇತ್ತಿ ಇತಿ ವೇತ್ತಿ ವಿತ್ತ ವಿದಂತಿ ವಿಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವಸ್ತುತ ನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ವಿದ್ಯೇತೆ ವಿದ್ಯಂತೆ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ 
सो अज्ञानवृत ज्ञान तेन मुह्य जंतव सो दैट अविद्या इज विद्या नाश्या दैट इज वै इट इज काल अविद्या यू शो वै यू गेट डाउट वै मूला विद्या हेज गाट अविद्या नेम मूला विद्या इज काल अज्ञान अज्ञान आहु सो बिकाज इट इज डिस्ट्रॉयड वै ज्ञान वर्ण्यते देन थर्ड मीनिंग स्वरूप आवारकवाद अज्ञान वर्ण्यते थर्ड नेम वन इज अविद्या अनदर इज माया अनदर इज अज्ञान वै इट इज काल अज्ञान मूला विद्या इज काल अज्ञान बिकाज स्वरूप आवरक आवारकवा बिकाज इट कवर्स द स्वरूप वन सोन नेचर ब्रह्म स्वरूप आवारकवा अज्ञान च भण्यते भण्यते मीन इट इज सैड एस मयाया आश्रयभूत चैतन्य चैतन्य सो मयाया आश्रयभूत चैतन्य दट मया इट्स आश्रय इट्स शेलटर् सपोर्टर् ईज साइतन्य स्वचैतन्य सामचैतन्य मीन स्वचैतन्य सो शुद्ध चैतन्य ईज द अधिष्ठान सपोर्टर् आफ् आश्रय आफ् अज्ञान दट ईज साइतन्य मयाया द बेसि आफ् मया आश्रय मीन बेसि द बेसि आफ् मया ईज चैतन्य वाट चैतन्य सामचैतन्य जनरल कॉन्शियस्नेस इट इज नॉट स्पेसिफिक कॉन्शियस्नेस स्वरूप चैतन्य न तस्मा तन मयाया विरोधी दैट शुद्ध चैतन्य इज नॉट विरोधी ऑफ माया इट विल नॉट डिस्ट्रॉय द माया दैट प्योर कॉन्शियस तन माया मीन्स दैट प्योर कॉन्शियस्नेस cannot be the enemy of virodhi na it's not an enemy of it can never destroy the ignorance pure brahman pure chaitanyam cannot destroy ignorance kintu sadhakam because it is lending existence to ignorance how it can destroy the ignorance so therefore mula vidya existing in shuddha brahman it is giving existence to that mula vidya how it can destroy it that's why it is not a virodhi on the other hand sadhakam it is the supporter hmm maya maya iru en kuda iru power maya ya uh, satta pradam swarna pradancha what way it supports maya is supported by shuddha chaitanya or samanya chaitanya or swarupa chaitanya what we it is supporting maya it is supporting maya satta pradam maya ya satta pradam means shuddha chaitanya or swarupa chaitanya is the lender of existence to maya maya irke and the irkara tanmai yaar kudukara maya kenna shuddha chaitanya अद शुद्ध सत्ता प्रदम इट इज द गिवर ऑफ एक्जिस्टेंस इट इज द गिवर ऑफ एक्जिस्टेंस टू माया नॉट ओनली दट स्फुण प्रदंच इट इज द रिवीलर ऑफ द इग्नोरेन्स स्फुण मीन्स रिवीलर इग्नोरेन्स रिवीलर ऑफ इग्नोरेन्स रिवीलर ऑफ इग्नोरेन्स so for the existence of maya it is depending upon shuddha chaitanya or samanya chaitanya but chaitanya is not depending upon maya for its existence shuddha chaitanya is independently existing maya is not independently existing it is existing of based on supported by shuddha chaitanya <coughs> 
whereas Shuddha Chaitanyam is depending upon Maya for its manifestation. All this you know, just I am repeating. Shuddha Chaitanyam is uh, man depending upon uh, Maya for its uh, manifestation, not for existence. Okay. So, Satta Pradam, Spurana Pradam means uh, um, lender of existence, giving existence, giver of existence and revealer of ignorance. Spurana Pradancha. Then what? Vritya Rudha Chaitanyam Adhava Chaitanya Sahita Vrittim. So, Vritya Rudha Chaitanya means that Chaitanyam which is, that is called reflected consciousness. Vritti Arudha means that which is associated with <coughs> Chaitanyam, Adhava Chaitanya Sahita, consciousness associated with Antah Karna Vritti, Vritti Arudha means consciousness, Arudha means uh, climbing as it were. Consciousness associated with Antakarana Vritti or Chaitanya Sahita Vritti or Vritti Sahita Chaitanya. So, consciousness backed by thought or thought is backed by consciousness. Maya Yaha, um, Maya Yaha Virodhitaya Jani Yad. This is a point we have to note. That alone removes the ignorance. What? Uh, that reflected consciousness in the Antakkaranam, there the vritti comes, knowledge, thought comes, jnana vritti. That jnana vritti alone removes the ajnana. Chidabhasa, reflected consciousness. Vritya Arudha Chaitanyamana, reflected consciousness. That alone removes the ajnanam. Not uh, Mula, uh, sorry, not uh, Shuddha Chaitanya, not Samanya Chaitanya. Visesha Chaitanya, we can say, Visesha Chaitanya means our reflected consciousness. That alone is called Vrityarudha Chaitanya. Samanya Chaitanya is, uh, a, <coughs> is another name for Swarupa Chaitanya. Swarupa Chaitanya is um, not the enemy of Ajnanam, but uh, Vritya Rudha Chaitanyam is the enemy. The thought arises in the mind which mind is uh, sentient with the Chidabhasa, that Atra, just like. For example, suppose you are not able to understand why Samanya Chaitanyam cannot destroy ignorance, only Vritya Rudha Chaitanyam, that reflected consciousness, alone consciousness associated with antakkarana vritti alone is the destroyer of ajnana if you want to know more clearly see the example here in atra in this regard in this um, particular case sarva surya kanta shila rudha surya prabha see uh, surya kanti directly it cannot burn the paper Paper cannot be burned by Surya Prakasha directly. But the same Surya Prakasha, when it comes through the lens, Bhutaddam, in Telugu we say Bhutaddam lens, some special glass. Suppose it comes, uh, that lens, it comes uh, uh, when Surya Kanta Shila Rudha Surya Prabha, that Surya Prabha, that su sunlight, which is um, uh, traveling through that glass, that is um, magnified glass, we can say. Magnified glass, it comes, then it burns the paper. In uh, school days, we used to do that. And, and the Surya sunlight directly, we used to keep that, you know, that magnified glass and slowly we focus on the white paper. Slowly that place will become dark hole like black black hole it becomes. Even through that they can kindle the arani. Arani also fire also can be burnt. Sorry firewood. 
Arani Mathanam also uh, is possible. Arani Mathanam or um, um, through this um, magnified Surya Kanthamani, it is called Surya Kanthamani, <laughs> Shila Rudha Surya Prabha, Drishtantatve, Drishtantatve, by this example, Avagantavya, may you understand. What to understand? Why Samanya Chaitanyam cannot destroy ignorance? Why only Visesha Chaitanyam Chidabhasa Sahitam Antahkaranam alone, their vritti comes that Chaitanyam alone destroys why? Na? It is just like this magnified glass alone destroy the paper, burn the paper, not the direct sunlight. Samanya Chaitanyam is like direct sunlight. Uh, this uh, magnified glass uh, borrowed the light and burn, gets the Shakti to burn the paper is like Visesha Chaitanya. Paper is, uh, Ajnanam is compared to the paper. It burns like that. Very nice example. Itham, in this manner. Eka Maya Anadihi, therefore Maya is only one. Eka, Maya you can supply. Eka Maya Anadihi, it is beginningless Anadihi, it doesn't have birth. Santa, but it has got death. <laughs> Santa means death. What do you mean by death here? Falsifiable. It is falsifiable. It is uh, beginningless, but it has got an end by falsification. Falsifiable. Sadasad vilakshanam. This is the third description of Maya. Many times I explained all these things. Again, again, if you listen, you get more clarity. Sadasad Vilakshana means it is neither existent nor non-existent. It is different from Sat, it is different from Asat. Sadasat Vilakshana. It is different from Sat and Asat. Anirvachaniya. It is inexplicable. How many are over? Anadi number one. Santa number two. These are the names for Maya. And Sadasad Vilakshanam number three, Anirvachaniya number four, then Avidya number five, Agnanadi Agnanam number six, Shabda Vyapadeshya, Avidya Agnanadi Shabda Vyapadeshya, Samanya Chaitanyam Ashrita. So Agnanam is the sixth name. Uh, so, it is dependently existing upon Samanya Chaitanyam. Ashrita, Vrutyarudha Chaitanyam Vinashya. You can take, these are also another name. It is the destroyable one by Vrutyarudha Chaitanyam. The reflected consciousness is there in that Antakkaranam. In that Antakkaranam thought arise, that thought will get a jnana vritti. Jnana vritti comes agnanam destroyed. Vritya rudha chaitanya vinashya cha maya varnita. Maya is described in this way. So what are all other names are also there? Adipadat. <laughs> Already so many names he has given. And he is using adi also etc. Etc means we can take many other names also like shakti, Avyaktaha. Shakti means um, that which is not the Svatantra. Shakti is always uh, depending upon Shaktaha. Shiva Shakya Yukto Yadi Bhavati Prabhavitam. Shakti is always depending upon the Shaktaha. That is why it is called Shakti. Hmm. Na Shakta Yadi. Avyaktaha, it is potential because you is not perceptible. 
prakriti hi it is called as prakriti also why prakarshena kriti yogya it is pliable modifiable it is uh, therefore it is called prakriti hi like gold gold can be changed into ornaments different ornaments rings etc vritya prakriti hi maya maha sushupti hi also you can call it samashti agnyanam maha sushupti hi next page topic number 261 and 262 following topics are prasangadishwara swarupa varnanam to ishwara swarupam dividha karana lakshanam cha shuddha sattva guna sahita maya maya dhishtanam chaitanyam maya pratiphalita चैतन्य आभास मिलताईश्वर इधीये सोयमीश्वर सर्व सगत कारण नौ ईश्वर हेज कम हौ हेज कम बिका माया सहित ब्रह्म बिकेम ईश्वर हु इज ईश्वर प्रसंगा ईश्वर स्वरूप वर्णन प्रसंग इंसिडेटली वी हाव टू टाक अबउट ईश्वर वै मध्यमाधिकारी और मध्यगमाधिकारी शेख ईश्वर ईज इंट्रड्यूस्ड इंसिडेटली प्रासंगिक ईश्वर स्वरूप वर्णन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ ईश्वर सो ईश्वर ईज एन Uh, intermediary stage of uh, um, intermediary stage to understand brahman to understand nirguna brahman ishvara is a, uh, like a <laughs> means to understand saguna brahma that is ishvara is a means to understand brahma that is why god different gods names forms are given for what purpose to understand nirguna brahman okay that is the idea so ishwara's definition is not uh, consistent so vidyaranya baros uh, ishwara's definition in panchadashi first chapter fifth chapter seventh chapter so ishwara uh, rajoguna satvaguna tamoguna all these gunas three gunas are presented here you see ishvara swarupam what is ishvara swarupam varnana nature dividha karana lakshanam cha there are two causes dividha karanam two components are there what are the two components Mula Vidya has got uh, Sattva Guna, Rajo Guna and Tamo Guna in those three Gunas. Mula Vidya has, because Mula Vidya is there, Ishwara means what? Maya Sahitam Brahma. Maya has got how many Gunas? Three Gunas. Three Gunatmika Maya. Sattva Rajas Tamo Gunas. So the three Gunas, शुद्ध सत्वगुण सहिता माया मायाधिष्ठान चैतन्य फस्ट नंबर वन इज आर्यम रिफ्लेक्टिंग मीडियम ऑफ ईश्वर इज शुद्ध सत्वगुण सहिता माया माया दैट हुच इज प्रिडामेंटली शुद्ध सत्व सात्विक इन नेचर दैट इज द मीडियम फॉर ईश्वर रिफ्लेक्टिंग मीडियम then ishvara has got three components oc plus rc plus rm rm is shuddha sattva maya rc is maya pratiphalita chaitanya abhasa rc number 2 then maya adhishthana chaitanya oc so oc rc rm these are all visa in tattva bodha okay these are all not new 
but that brand, dash you can keep after Chaitanya Bhasaha dash iti. So therefore, Maya Pratipam Phalita, there is a dash that remove the dash. Maya Pratipalita Chaitanya Bhasaha iti trayam militva ishvara itya vidiyati. All these three put together. RM, RC and OC put together. RM belong to Maya. RC also belong to Maya. Sattva, Rajas. Sattva, An... Um, this is uh, Rajas means here um, Rajagunam, Sattvagunam and Tamogunam. Those three we will discuss in the next class. He is going to explain them separately. Here we understand this much alone. A reflected consciousness plus reflecting medium plus original consciousness put together Ishwara. Reflected consciousness and reflecting medium are because of Maya. This much is sufficient for this class. Next class we are going to see more about uh, um, Ishwara's description. Very interesting. Those who want to know who is God, where is God, how is God, what is his real nature. Ishwara means here God. Okay, that description is going to come. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om